en stor ära att få presentera pristagaren av Sveriges Riksbanks pris i ekonomisk vetenskap till Alfred Nobels minne. C'est un grand honneur de vous présenter le lauréat du prix de Sveriges Riksbank en sciences économiques en mémoire d'Alfred Nobel. It is a great honor to introduce the laureate of the Sveriges Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, Professor Jean Tirol. Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen. The great economist John Maynard Keynes once wrote, if economists could manage to get themselves sort of as humble, competent people on a level with dentists, that would be splendid. <laughs> 83 years and much research later, we will perhaps aspire to be compared with meteorologists or doctors, whose scientific accomplishments have been truly outstanding and yet have to face challenges that are rather down to earth. A failure to foresee or prevent the financial crisis is a sore reminder of the dangers of hubris. True enough, we had work on most of its ingredients but like a virus that keeps mutating, new dangers emerge when we thought we had it understood and avoided the existing ones. The need to be humble also applies to the field that was rewarded by the prize. Recognizing that industries are different from each other and evolve rapidly, researchers in the industrial organization have patiently built a body of knowledge that has helped regulators to better understand market power and the effects of policy interventions and help firms to formulate their strategies. They have thereby contributing to making this world a better place, the economist's first mission. Yet, there is so much we still have to learn and the world changes faster than her our understanding can keep up with. Humility is not easy to preserve when receiving such a prestigious award. Albert Camus, in his acceptance speech, wondered how he, rich only in his doubts and his work still in progress, could cope with being at the center of a glaring light. His answer was that he could not live without his heart. The great French scientist Henri Poincaré describes the unmatched pleasure of discovery. So it is only a flash in the middle of a long night, but this flash means everything. Wisdom therefore encourages me to return as soon as possible to my lab, to the colleagues to whom I am indebted for this prize, in short, to the wonderful life of a researcher. But I shall be profoundly and permanently grateful to the committee for the immense honor it has bestowed upon me, and to the Nobel Foundation and Sweden for their astounding mission of drawing attention to science year after year. On behalf of all this year's laureate, I would like to propose a toast in the honor of arts and sciences. Skoll. Oh, yeah, you didn't bring.